a favorite segment here on the show called <laughs> Robert's Perfect. Vault. Uh, if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah. So today is the 40th anniversary of Friday the 13th, the final chapter, which we've talked about again and again. It's my first Friday the 13th in the big screen. I snuck into I love the theater. That. Bought tickets to Hard to Hold, starting Spring Rick Springfield, and we snuck into the theater. So, oh, so um, cool. But yeah, so obviously, if if you need to sneak in, if you if you need to see your first Friday Thirteenth in the theater, Part Four is probably the one. So, I oh, can't believe gosh, it's been yeah. forty years. It's the crazy thing. That's so crazy. I'm so jelly you got to see that theatrically. It's it's such uh, a, um, like you said, if you're gonna see one in the theater, that's, that's the, one. the one. It's, it's arguably the best my... one there is. Instagram, there's a couple of people that said they had also snuck in. <laughs> to, yeah, this was their first non adult, oh, uh, so cool. adult theater experience and stuff like that. Here's the thing I think it was called, it was because it was called the final chapter. We thought this is our last chance to ever see a Friday the 13th. Yeah. In the you didn't theater, know, you know? Wasn't yeah. the, the plans to end it there? Yeah. Yeah. They wanted to be done. Actually, I think they kind of want to be done with part three, but part three made so much money. I think for, it was the most successful 3D yeah. film for a while. And then um, they're like, oh. And they had Jason to work with with the hockey mask. So it's like. They wanted to be done. And that's why it was called the final chapter. And then final chapter made too much money. I think it was number one for two weekends in a row or something. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, um, I mean, you had Corey Feldman and you had him on mask was a whole different kind of makeup. Did Tom Savini do the makeup on that one? Yeah. So he did. He did the makeup for part one. So they brought him back for the final chapter to kind of kill the monster that he made. And. Yeah, um, so good. Yeah, and they used to have they, they didn't know how to kill him. They had all sorts of different things they were going to do. One was kind of like a microwave explode his head type thing. And really, uh, yeah, they, uh, Tommy was going to have to show a kind of a microwave thing, or he put two things and this toy soldier melted or something like that. So they're going to do the same for Jason. And but oh, they ended up just cool, giving him a machete and part, which is good because then they they had to resurrect him, you know, again a couple of movies later. So oh yeah, yeah. It but, grossed uh, thirty three million on a budget of two million, so it did nice. fantastic, it did very well. So. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, and it had a good, great cast. I mean, Crispin Glover, and yeah, before he re- really became Crispin Glover, but uh, they, they Corey had Feldman, people, Kimberly uh, Beck was yep. good in there as I Trish, Kimberly Beck, so Lawrence Monison. so yeah, so it, it had a solid cast, and so that's you know good acting. It looked good, so it was to me the best best you can get. So absolutely. So that's kind of what started my horror movie, or a little bit, you know. Yeah, that, and you have such a good... That, that cemented it, so... And you have some items from Friday I do. I didn't even let me see where I should start. Oh, so this is so we'll exciting. Let's start with some books, since these are, at this oh, point, I love your book probably the only original things that you could get. But we do have, when they oh. made part three, they made a novelization love with that. some photos. I have a couple of these books, different colors and so forth, with... With photos from the movie. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, so this was the first Friday Thirteenth novelization. So oh. it's somewhat hard to come by, and somehow I have two of them. But now, have you ever actually read the books? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. good. I think this book has the original ending, if I remember correctly. So really, yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm yeah. gonna put this on my my wish list. Here. Yeah, take put take a look out for the if you have it so and then they didn't do another novelization until part six came out for jason lives and so this does i think have the original ending where jason's dad comes into the picture and so forth at the oh end. they have one so, here used i'm gonna get it yep yep you're do already you, purchasing so. <laughs> look at that that's so cool did you have those before um the movie came out um, so part three had just like I got this the first one like a year later after the final chapter. So it used to be able to find it in rent, you know, used bookstores and stuff like that. Yeah. Now these can go for hundreds of dollars because I can't imagine they're kind of rare. So and this was an original too. So oh, then so cool. years later they came out with novelizations for one, two, and three. Oh wow! Look at but those covers. This this one is a different novelization than the, the other three. So this is all the kind of. Oh really? I redid them. Yeah. So it this this part three is different than the original part three. So it's different in terms of just the, everything. Yeah, yeah. It's a different. It's a different universe. Different book and stuff like that. So interesting. But, yeah. So what is that middle one that you have though with the knife? In this what was this I part two? One. Yeah. So oh, this cool. part two, one, two, and three. Perfect. So if you want to learn a little bit more about I do actually the Friday thirteenth universe, we have that there. Those so. are really cool. <clears throat> and then since we're still doing books, uh they made um 
Camp Crystal Lake novels, and actually I'm missing one. Uh, so Mother's Day, the Carnival. These are very hard to find. <laughs> Those look like a cooler version of Goosebumps. Yes. Or so Fear this Street. was kind of yeah made at the time, and I'm not sure. So, the so year, wait, but... are they they they're novels that take place at Camp Crystal Lake? But yeah. So without take, Jason yeah, Voorhees, they take place in the the universe. So is Jason uh, in there? I think he makes appearances. I'm trying to remember. Wow, I, those are I've so not cool. Read. Yeah, so these are also they, hard hard to find. But yeah, they're are, are they was... are they designed for young adults or are yeah? They, they were definitely okay. young adult books. Um, Robert, those Camp Crystal Lake books are uh... 94, 1994. So yeah. So these were, and oh, I, I just oh, realized I'm cool. like I thought I, I I thought I had all four of them, but I apparently I only have three of the four. So now I feel bad you know it's like oh i need to get that missing one so what happened to the other ones i don't know i may i thought i had it maybe i, I think know. murphy needs to be questioned i would i wouldn't be surprised so um now this one <laughs> i don't know if i should show you or not oh please you got it so this is not an official item <laughs> it's a severed hand this is the fred the Dean quiz book by Rob Patterson. No way! <laughs> when was this made? I made this. In... You've told me about this before. Yes. So. Oh, we got to do the uh, quiz. A lot of uh, there. There is uh, many, many questions. Single space. Type oh, you got to give us one. Yeah. Just please give me one. I don't know. Let At me random. See. Which part? Part four. Since we we're talking about part four. All right. These are that's oh, awesome. Oh, this went up through part five at least. So. Oh. Um. Were they actually used though for real games? What? No. Well, I think I sold it and so forth. Uh, see, this is what... Um, this is exciting. I didn't even know the answers. to like. I just looked at my first one. What does Nurse Morgan's badge read? Uh, I feel like I have to look up the answer. And Morgan? Oh, it's a trick question. Nurse Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, oh, wait. Maybe it's not. Hold on. 15. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Word. You're right. R. Morgan, R. N. R. Morgan. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's a good one. Yeah. That's good. Let me see you here. What game is Tommy Jarvis playing? Video game. Oh. Uh, Space Invaders. Zaxxon. Zaxxon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway. That's a good question, though. That's anyway, a good question. So, um, yeah. It's like, each movie has, let's see, 50, 100 questions for each Friday. <laughs> so great. So that's quite, that's anyway. probably better than anything you'll find online, I guarantee uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Who else really? would have this? So, yeah. So I made my own quiz book. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Um, And then I also had, so back in the day, kids, it was kind of hard. We had Fangoria, whatever, but they also had. Yeah. Friday Thirteenth fanzines. Oh, so they, I love they fanzines. Had, they had these kind of newsletters. Yeah, uh, I used to get those for music you, stuff. Yeah, you could kind of make yourself and stuff like that. Talking about yeah. Friday Thirteenth fan club journals, and yeah. they were like exciting. And people when they would came have out. their art that they would they would oh, bring yeah. into it. So I have all these. I've kept all these things, and somehow they all she survived. Yeah, yeah. So there's. Oh. A huge book of all the look how good it, the condition like it's in too. Yeah, so somehow I always said all that survived. you take great yeah. care of your collection. Well, it all survived somehow, and I still have them. And you got it. Yeah, you're the custodian. Away. Yeah, just to hold on for future use. So um, this is more recent acquisition, but this is the script for Friday Thirteenth Part Three, signed by Tracy Savage, who we were just oh, talking about. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's and so, cool. so you could, if you look closely, hey, hands on fire. It is a uh, Crystal Japan because that was the, the the code name for the movie. They didn't want to call it Friday oh, the Thirteenth. Right, 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 right. So, um, so yeah, so it has that is really cool. Her original script and so forth, and then as a location person, obviously, I love call sheets. So she had some call sheets that I bought from her as well that shows what scenes they shot and where and different days. And she oh, signed those as well. So that's something to hold on to. That's exciting. Yeah. So some of my favorite stuff there. The on um, to go back in time to kind of original stuff. So oh, I, I love collect, these. 
press kits. So oh, I love those. The Friday the 13th Part 5 press kit. Yeah. So it came with information about the movie and, oh, that's so and cool. photos. Like, let's see what we got here. Those are so yeah. fantastic. So this photo actually had John Shepard sign since I oh, met nice. him. There he is. So he signed this one. It's great. Um, was he a so nice yeah, guy? Yeah, he was a nice guy. So if you look closely, like, you know, the, each photo has like captions that should come with it oh, yeah. um, by Paramount. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, don't forget, kids. One. Friday the 13th is uh, Paramount Pictures. Yeah. Same as The Godfather and Top yeah. Gun. So you know you're in good company. Yeah. And here I find random stuff just stuck into the folder. So A random yeah, stuff. Keith, Keith David's late they live. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Which that was just here, randomly in the Friday. Yeah, I was random in the, in the Friday. Yeah, I must have Good met him. Thing at, you the, went in there. at the same convention. So and here I will. I'll put it back. And here's in an to, autograph by Jackson. Yeah, and uh, Jason lives. I have that press kit as well. So that's so cool. Yeah. Who's the so what's back, the photo of in there? I'm sorry. Um, so the, the, the there's usually about twenty different photos. Oops. Oh, wow. Um that they have in here. So um, but yeah, so it's Tommy Jarvis. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, but literally, this is all. Who's your favorite Tommy Jarvis? Uh, I kind of like them all. So Corey Feldman obviously was the original, so he was kind of good as the child. Um, John Shepard was a little probably too quiet, maybe for me. A little bit. Tom Matthews, I thought, yeah. He, yeah, Tommy, he, Tommy grew up to be quite a hunk, but yeah. He was kind of my favorite. Yeah, so he he... He kind of solidified it as yeah. well, I think. So yeah, but uh, that those are really fantastic yeah. to have. I'm glad that you keep these in such great shape. Well, I have to, have to. So I, I know. Uh, so if people may remember during part six, Alice Cooper made a single of yes. "He's oh. Back." So wait, hold on. Is that a 45? This is a 45 record, kids. Oh, you gotta. <laughs> do you have a record player? I. Do but I don't really use it. You, so. you can't see I, I because think it's, it's very behind lovely. the camera. But I do have a record player, oh, and I'm telling you, kids, it sounds better than Spotify, than CDs. There's something about vinyl; yeah. they just sound better. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, you I have did, that. So. Did he, did you get that? Where did you get that? I, I was, I mean, at the record store when I was 16 years old. Wow. That's when this see? this movie came out. So physical media, folks. It was a. By the way, you like my shirt? I have a. Physical media never. Oh, forget. that is nice. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Is that yeah, for team? mom? Thanks, mom. Oh, yeah, it's a floppy, a VHS, and a cassette. Oh, nice. And I'm wearing the Friday Thirteenth <laughs> T-shirt. So I've never seen that one. It's kind of a. Uh, I should have the box for it. It's a that is cool. Uh, anniversary shirt of some sort. So. You have really cool stuff, Robert. Um, some random books, the making. Oh, look how nice that of, is. Camp Blood. That's a nice coffee table book. Yeah, so it is nice. Um, but the premiere book is... The premiere book of, of the final chapter? Crystal Lake Memories. Oh, look at that's a coffee table book. This is a... That's a $200 book easily. This is a huge coffee table book. So That is beautiful. Yeah. Wait, is that a... Is that a um, Crispin that a Glover? Autograph? Yeah, that's Crispin Glover we'll sitting there. there. Oh, wow. Oh, that yeah, is so, so cool. As I Where, meet, when did you get that? Um, so it came out. So I got the autographed version. So when it first came out, a lot of actors all lined up. So it was signed oh my gosh. Quite, by Look quite at a that few. Thing. Um, but it's a pretty in-depth. They have great behind-the-scenes pictures. Oh, that is um, so cool. Some kind of never not had, had not <laughs> oh, been, that is been, cool. been seen before. Uh kind of this book kind of came out, but uh but yeah, so Jason's unlucky day. I got it. I got to find chapter. this thing. So definitely worth it. Big heavy book, um, and I bring it with me. Actually, I brought it with me to different. Is Hollywood it Camp shows. Crystal? Crystal Lake Memories. The Crystal Lake history. Memories. Yep. All right, I got it in the cart. Yep, it's a, a nice heavy PC book. Channel. Yeah. It is. That is really nice. Definitely worth it. So you should also um, note. I just want to note to the listeners. Uh, these things you at the time they were not very easy to get as well like the press kits you had to like know somebody and like robert really you got in there good you had to find them at the store they so weren't the, giving them away oh absolutely not um so the t-shirt i wearing was part of this uh 30th anniversary 
box and so oh, it's wow, like wow look at that 141 at 500 so that's what the it came in so happy anniversary weekend y'all still have that so um i don't have the album somewhere i think so they did make a friday 13th uh album of music from parts one through and three and then they had the 3d poster on the front oh, yeah. and these these are the glasses that came with them oh no way yeah those are cool and right here is the scene right before oh Shelly's yeah that's it dead Chili's dead who said that chili uh chili said that yeah yeah so there's chili oh, right there i love so. that oh uh, thank god okay so glasses. do you keep the, all the friday the 13th stuff together yeah, so there's a Friday Thirteenth box for the most part. Perfect. So what I I didn't bring out I didn't bring out any of the posters. I have all the posters and and stuff like that. Really, but, like um, originals? Yep, the original originals. Wow. So um, do you ever switch your posters around and put them up, or are those tucked now, away? No, you know I need to to do something because I have a few posters up. I f I feel like I need to mix it up. Halloween's are always out, of course, because yeah, well, yeah. They're the most important. So um, this, if you remember part two, and I don't know if you do. So I remember do. Mark, Mark in the wheelchair, and he's always playing video games. So he never should have died. That poor I guy. Know. He was probably one of the saddest ones. So this yeah. is not the actual prop, but this is what he was playing. <laughs> oh, the blockbuster. So uh, oh, taken, I, re no, I remember. Yeah. So uh, Lauren, I can't remember the name of the actress that, um, you know, she kind of plays with that as well. So I have pictures of her with this oh, is our prop so together cool. and so forth but um i had to find the, the exact one that, that that they used and so i forth. feel like that you can't find anywhere yeah that that's a little harder to find you had to make sure that I could that's an find ebay thing. the exact yeah. one yeah so yeah and then that's i don't know exciting. we're also in the age now where they just do make you know at spirit halloween they make random friday <laughs> yeah. stuff you know and, and you got to get there early notebooks i can't imagine when, when i was 14 that to have all this fantastic I, stuff i would pr use, like, i would get oh, two notebooks and use one yeah. practically and then save one like the friday 13th thing, sticky notes like, come on so cool yeah <laughs> that you got those at spirit i somewhere like that yeah i think wow i can't remember where they came well, when you move yes. to la someday you'll have spirit all i the will time. have all yeah i will and then this how does this work i don't know Oh, it's not working. Oh, nice. Oh, I love those. I don't know. So oh. random stuff. Sometimes I try not to overdo it, but sometimes when I see stuff, I'm like, all right, now I need hey, to. You need deserve to it, that, so. my friend. Um, And the fun continues here at Robert's Toy I won't up and all along, but I have many Crystal Lake badges and <laughs> nice. patches. It's an actual and, patch for a counselor. And pins. Oh, that i've collected over the Pins years fun. yeah you need to get an army jacket and put them on there um i can't remember what do you call these where you know you put water in it and you squeeze it yeah yeah so and it comes out adjacent yeah i used to have one yeah. of a jurassic park one but um those are exciting yeah mini fray 13 pins and they Did all get, get those those are from spirit too yeah i don't know where i just picked these up over the years and oh, so forth that is cool and you then... know i always forget how many spinoff novelty items there are from the friday the 13th franchise but people really put their time in they do they do absolutely so um many people have this but it's also nice to have the crystal slake sign if you need to oh that's perfect have that somewhere so i feel like your collection wouldn't be complete without that i would not so um this is kind of this goes for a lot i think on ebay's and stuff but this is mrs Voorhees and jason together oh nice a figure so which is awful nice oh, wow. mother and son i need more of those in my life <laughs> um betsy palmer betsy palmer I wish I had met her. I never did meet her. So this is my Crash Creations Jason mask. So I get the part four mask, of course. So which is pretty love authentic. That. So I love that. I do like it for a shaved head like me. It works out for those oh, yeah. last minute costumes. You can rock I, can it. Just, I can just put it on. Um, I love the meme of the guy sitting alone at night with his wife's asleep and he's thinking. The thought bubble says, "Why did Jason have the ass the the axe thing in his head and?" Part eight. Oh yeah. <laughs> why am I? Why am I? Thinking why about am I thinking about that? That is legit. That's heavy. This is super heavy. So let me see if oh I can my bring goodness. it over. Is that pewter? I don't know. It is. So this is a huge J part. Part three, Jason. 
Yeah, of course. He can hold his accent a couple of different ways. Oh my gosh. Pretty nice and authentic. The, and, out of yeah. everything you have, and yeah. this is tough to gauge, that's the coolest thing. Yeah. So, Part three, Jason. Yep. Yeah. So I think, yeah, they, they got it. Where did just you right. get that? This, is, I can't remember who put it on, but, or who made it, but I remember I didn't get it in time. And so I had pay, kind of paid dearly, I remember. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, so it's just, I love, they just got everything, you know, his dirty pants and, and everything. And the detail is yeah. like somebody, that's a labor of love right yeah. there. Um, that's yeah, so just, cool. Just looks like it. So this is one of my favorites. And then, is that pretty heavy? It is very heavy. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was trying to get him off the thing. And then wow. I think we've shown this before, but oh, this I love a little variation. So from this, the series, right? This is Friday 13th, the series. So yeah. this was oh, the tombstone. So cool. And then inside they had the oh, yeah, press, press kit and stuff like that. So, um, so some of them look different than others. Um, some have like the Friday 13th is kind of really weird. Mine has the grass and so forth, which is nice. Oh, it's so, so nice. it kind of looks like a, it looks like an authentic, uh, <laughs> it does look authentic. Tombstone, yeah. So, oh um, my gosh. So, yeah. So that's, and it's, what was that? 87 or so. So you could store stuff in there. Yeah. So yeah. Paramount's anniversary and stuff like that. So it's, 87. Yeah. It survived pretty well. It survived fantastic. You yeah. take such good care of your things. But uh, yeah, so that's most of my Friday 13 stuff. I'm wearing some oh. Jason shoes right now. Oh, but I, nice. <laughs> uh, I have things. It's, anyway. you're, you just, yeah. it, you're just, you live in an endless house of fun. <laughs> of stuff. And nostalgia. Yeah, so I would never leave. Around, I yeah, would just like, play look, with stuff all day. Like, yeah, I was like, look, what else do I have that I don't know about? But uh, do you ever just take them out and like do an inventory and look at stuff? No, not see. I would. That. I would like <laughs> once a month. Uh, not not once a month, but like once a year, I would have to take out everything and like admire it. No, so, you're like yeah, Jay but, Leno. It's like another car, and you don't care. Not but until you know these, it's there. Yeah, yeah. Not until these shows do I kind of take the stuff out and say, so "Thank like, you for bringing those out. Oh, those yeah, are like the so, coolest things ever. I love them." Yeah, a little bit of Friday the Thirteenth for you. Uh, a lot of Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I gotta ask the. Um, the books. I'm I'm on a website now. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm going to get some. Are they? Uh, do you would you ever reread them, or is it just there's so many I, books you don't ever revisit? You don't. I need to. really don't. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. Yeah. I've. I remember I'm with the, you. I don't reread books. When when they um at the time I used to read them because that's all we had before we had yeah video rentals and stuff like that. So I, I, I can't get enough of those. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, when the show's done, you got to take a picture of. Uh, Jason, if he's still out, and send that oh, to yeah. me for oh, the, absolutely. So, I, for the artwork, it's and, just amazing. 